Hey guys, Dan here, and I am actually coming to you in the right seat of my uh, my own truck for work. Uh, kind of training somebody this week, and so he's been doing a lot of driving. And he has an iPhone 10, and so I am bouncing around over here. But supposedly these cameras uh, have stability on them, so I want to see how this is going to work out. So I'm going to take this little clip and text it to me, and then we're going to continue this video at my house. I have something important I want to talk to you guys about, so don't go away. I will be right back. And for comparative purposes, I am back on my iPhone 6 with the regular camera, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if there's like a, a significant difference. Now I didn't go to his settings. I didn't change anything. It's just the way that the phone came is what we did. Uh, so we'll just check that out and uh, see. So this is the iPhone 6. And then we'll, uh, we'll be at my house here shortly and we'll, we'll talk about it. I looked up the uh, iPhone 10 on YouTube and was checking to see if there was like um, anything I can do in the settings to fix the shake of the camera. And the, uh, the videos that I found on YouTube were people using a, uh, a, a gimbal, a motorized gimbal by DJI to hold the iPhone steady. So it seems like the, um, the iPhone 10. Didn't, it didn't really seem like it was much of a difference than the iPhone 6. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on the iPhone 10. Now maybe the forward-facing cam or whatever they call you know, the main camera is better. Um, but as far as like the selfie cam, I like to call it, where, you know, we're going to commonly use when we vlog. Um, it didn't, it you know, like this, it didn't seem to fix any of that. So I think it's still steady as the hand goes. So, but anyways, let me get to what I was, uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Okay, we did a video uh, last year and the title of it was Low Budget Curb Appeal where I showed you guys how for $160, we could transform this whole back area or front area of my yard um, and including this here and all the way up here here you know and it, of course all of this uh, for $168 and we went through all the items that we were going to use and we went through you know what they were going to what they would do what we expected them to do and I got a lot of feedback from you guys a lot of feedback and so I figured I better talk to you guys about it because a lot of you guys are missing the point and don't get me wrong I really appreciate everything that you guys are saying and your suggestions and although I agree with just about every single person that commented about using red mulch, black mulch, rock, this or that, other than pine straw, um, I have to remind you of the title of the video. It's low budget curb appeal. Okay, this was something that we can do very quick, very fast for a purpose of quick curb appeal. You might be having a wedding reception at your home. You need to do something quick, inexpensive maybe Christmas party, maybe 4th of July party, maybe you're gonna rent, maybe you're gonna sell, maybe you're whatever, you just wanted to do something quick. I know this wind's killing you. That was the purpose of this video, low budget curb appeal. Although you can get mulch at a discount if you buy it in bulk, I have to remind you guys of certain things. And those certain things are, what are we dealing with where we're putting in our low budget curb appeal? And what we're dealing with is a wide open area with many peaks of the roof, no gutters anywhere. Okay, some rain deflectors, but it's still gonna come down. In other words, if I didn't invest in a border, which would bring the cost up, then everything that would be put down here mulch wise would just pour out. And on the first rainstorm, there'd be black mulch, red mulch, whatever all over the yard and all over the sidewalk so like i said i really do appreciate everything you guys said and and i agree with everything you guys said i think black mulch would look awesome use the lawn edging you know the plastic edging you put in that has like a, a round tube on the top and you slip it in you make a little wedge and you slip it in put that in the ground fill that up with white rock put your flower in that white rock Put your black mulch around the white rock. Do a lava rock little walkthrough area of lava rock with some stepping stones to get to the patio. Yes, there's so many things that you can do and there's so many things that I have done 
but that's not inexpensive that's not low budget it's gonna have a higher cost I just wanted to give you guys an example so um, don't take it the wrong way when you say that looks tacky or pine straw looks ugly I would have done this I would have done that and I ask you to you know please reread the title of the video that you're forgetting um, I agree with you but we had to fit the bill 160 bucks we redid the whole front yard and it looked fantastic great to sell great for any purpose and then you know but if it's for your own landscaping for you know this is it i'm just going to landscape my front yard then you're not going to do low budget curb appeal you're going to do curb appeal and that's different and you're painting your front doors you're painting your shutters you know you're pressure washing you're doing all those things you might drop four or five hundred dollars on the on the floor and get everything looking really really nice with some nice plants and some nice mulch and maybe some edgings and some borders and stuff like that to keep the mulch in maybe even gutters uh i don't know all right so just wanted to touch base with you guys and say thank you i really do appreciate you guys please at the end of the video check out how i'm giving back in 2018 we're up to 1100 dollars in donations right now and i'm going pressure washing tomorrow saturday we got five houses to do i don't have a good feeling about my pressure washer though so you guys are going to have to check back and see uh if we're going to be able to do this or not all right i gotta go cut some grass make some money for st jude children's research hospital uh check the end of this video and that explains it all all right appreciate you guys thank you